We find our true power in the quiet. We lose our power in the noise. Have you noticed that after a long time being plugged into other people's narratives, opinions, and energy, you sometimes lose your sense of what's true and good for you? In this age of social media and the internet, or even just the speed of modern life, we are bombarded with more information and perspectives than ever before, and at a rate that's just going faster. However, no matter what's happening in our lives right now, coming home to our own core energy is accessible through small moments of quiet beauty. These are the moments when, despite emotional turmoil, humble beauty in nature stops us in our tracks. Morning dew on Dallas grass, the unfurling of a new calendula bush, the soft wind as it coaxes seedlings to dance, the glow of the afternoon sun.
Have you noticed, in places where we've been hurt, it's here where we put flowers, where shrines are placed. Beauty is our way to soothe painful wounds. Perhaps it's because beauty reminds us of a reality we don't quite recall, but we deeply remember, a memory of our existence beyond the physical, beyond the veils of human experience. A place where we're truly free, where we're deeply loved, where we belong. Perhaps we remember this is our true home. Practices that help us heal and regulate our emotions, energy, and nervous system, they're very important for sensitive souls, so we can remain a clear vessel for the creations calling to be birthed through us. There are many tools to get us back to our own energy and empowerment, but when we are in the depths of heavier emotions, nothing else helps other than the quiet grace found in nature, in the acceptance that silently comes from being with quiet beings that ask nothing of us, but to simply be with them. From here, we learn to simply accept where we are, and there's immense grace from that. The thing I'm learning most from sitting with flowers and plants is this practice of quietly and lovingly accepting simply where I am. This is when the most profound shifts in healing usually happen for me. The sacred is accessible in the small and the still. The small and the still is the portal to the infinite.